The Clintons just can't help themselves when it comes to raising big money. Political reports here. Even as the Clintons are touting plans to distance themselves from their foundation and limit its fundraising if Hillary Clinton is elected president, they're planning one last glitchy, uh, glitchy, <laughs> it's funny, glitzy fundraising bash on Friday, this is this past Friday, to belatedly celebrate Bill Clinton's 70th birthday. The fundraiser is being held at the Rainbow Room, a fine dining restaurant on the 65th floor of a Manhattan skyscraper. Plans called for performances by Wynton Marsalis, John Bon Jovi, and Barbara Streisand, according to people briefed on the planning. They said that major donors are being asked to give $250,000 to be listed as a chair for the party, $100,000 to be listed as a co-chair, and $50,000 to be listed as a vice chair. Clinton Foundation officials confirmed that the fundraiser is the final one planned before the November 8th election and that Bill Clinton planned to attend. So I need you to think of the legendary record-breaking level of hubris it takes to do this in the midst of the current political climate. One of the main arguments that Donald Trump is using against the Clintons is, hello, they're the Clintons. They're massively corrupt, they're insiders, they do pay-to-play, they represent the elite, and, you know, you guys might not like me, but hey, at least I'm, I'm an outsider and I'm anti-establishment and maybe I'll uproot the system. You don't know. Maybe that's the case. Not only are the arguments coming from Donald Trump, but you also have, you know, credible journalists, journalists who are certainly to the left of Hillary Clinton, just detailing extensively, like David Sirota over at the International Business Times, all of the horrific decisions made by the Clintons and, and with the Clinton Foundation and how exactly the big money has affected her policy decisions and how it's affected her as Secretary of State. So in the midst of this climate where you can't keep a lid on it anymore, people are on to what you're doing, they're so arrogant that Bill Clinton's like, yeah, www. Don't give a fuck.org. Here's what's going to happen. We're going to have a birthday bash for me turning 70, and we're going to take just tremendous amounts of money, gargantuan piles of money that I can swim in, and we're going to take it for the Clinton Foundation. And then when someone comes after us and says, hey, man, maybe that's not cool while you're running for president, we're going to turn the tables on them and smear them viciously, like we've done to even liberals and progressives who've said, I'm concerned about your fundraising. They get mad, like, oh my goodness, the idea that you would think that maybe, just maybe, we take a phone call and do some favors for this. Yeah, that's exactly what we think, because you're human beings. It's a basic incentive structure problem. I mean, and we also know from, what was it, the AP investigation, that over half of the meetings that Hillary Clinton had with uh, private citizens as Secretary of State were with people who were donors to the Clinton Foundation. I'm sure it's just a coincidence. I'm sure it's just a coincidence that the people who give them money, you know, get time and get a meeting. And that doesn't even include, by the way, they were being fair. That doesn't even include the people who are from foreign governments who donate to the Clinton Foundation. Okay, imagine for a second it was a Republican in that situation. Democrats across the board would lose their shit. <laughs> they say, are you kidding me? So, let me get this straight. Newt Gingrich, in this hypothetical world, is Secretary of State, and he has a foundation that just raised hundreds of thousands of dollars from fucking Saudi princes and from this uh, oppressive foreign country and that oppressive country. And I'm supposed to believe that he's going to act in the best interest of the American people and he's going to do right by U.S. foreign policy and not going to listen to them even though they just gave him all that money. Nobody would believe that. But with the Clintons, you're expected to just shut the fuck up and sit there and go, oh, no, totally. How dare you ever go after their honor and their integrity? <laughs> in order to say that this doesn't affect them, you would have to say they are above every human impulse, they're above human nature, and they're, they have a better moral fiber than anybody else. And we know that that's not true. So, and again, this isn't to say they are particularly bad, it's to say anybody in that situation, given those strings pulling at them, they're going to react a certain way. And Democrats see that all the time with Republicans when it comes to them raising money from the Koch brothers, them raising money from Sheldon Adelson, them raising money from ExxonMobil. You say, oh, look, oh, it's a coincidence you don't believe in climate change and you're taking all that money from big oil. We're on to the game. We're on to the trick when it comes to them. But many 
partisan loyalist hack Democrats for Hillary Clinton go, shut the fuck up. There's nothing going on here. There's nothing going on at all. And Bill Clinton, even when they're under the microscope, and even when there are people who are saying, we, we caught you, man. It's over. Your bullshit is over. They're like, I don't care. We're still going to do this fundraiser because I'm addicted. The Clinton Foundation is addicted. Yes, they do some good work around the world. There's no doubt about that. But you also can't deny the evidence is there that shows that when foreign governments donate to them, the Clintons turn around and do favors for them. And it's not just with the foundation either. It's just raising money in general. It's not a coincidence that Hillary Clinton was for single payer, then she took money from the health industry, and all of a sudden she flipped. It's not a coincidence that she was against a bankruptcy bill that biased the laws in favor of the corporations, and then when she ran and became senator from New York, she took money from those institutions and flipped. Now all of a sudden she's for that bankruptcy bill. And the list goes on and on of these instances. I'm supposed to believe she had a genuine change of heart in the wrong direction every time and the money didn't affect her? I don't believe that, and you shouldn't believe that either. And... Anytime people try to tell you they're not corrupt, they're not this, they're not that, you point this out and you also bring up the fact that they've raised over $3 billion from special interests in their careers. $3 billion. Is anybody really stupid enough to think they raised that money all because those people happen to love their position on abortion and various social issues? I just agree with her so much that I gave her all this money. No. No. They know the way the system works, and it is a system of legalized bribery. It's not that the Republicans don't participate in it. Of course they do. But the Democrats do too. And the Clintons definitely do. And you can't pull the wool over our eyes anymore. We see what's going on.